A phone shrinking right before your eyes? Headphones are slipping down on the tip of your nose. And a Bluetooth speaker is getting smaller and smaller? There are awesome experiments on gadget size in the Troom Troom class today. Hurry up, we're about to start. Have no idea how to deal with your test? The best way is to take a selfie. Let's post it on Instagram and put a hashtag, well, the teacher doesn't see. But unfortunately, the teacher sees everything. Miss Smith's mission in this world is to minimize the number of selfies in class. This is why she decreases our iPhone. Cover a small and thin eraser with white acrylic paint. Color the back pink and paint the sides. Attach clear tape to the printed mini phone screen and fasten it to the white side of the eraser using double-sided tape. Make a central button using a ballpoint pen refill. Draw a camera. Paint an Apple logo silver. How is it possible? My beautiful photos definitely won't fit into this tiny phone. And how can I unlock it? Face ID doesn't work. This phone certainly won't distract us from studying. Miss Smith is not only the most beautiful teacher at our school, she is also the smartest one because she always reads her e-reader. And when she reads, she forgets about everything around. It's an excellent opportunity to steal her magic wand. While Miss Smith is distracted, we're shrinking her e-reader. Bookius Smallerius. It's worked. Make an e-reader base from thick paper. Trace it twice on a black foam rubber sheet. Print out some text so that it fits the size of the mini e-reader. Attach it to the paper base using double-sided tape. Attach the base to the foam rubber sheet. Cut a frame out of the second piece of foam rubber and attach it on top. Paint the details using a silver color. Miss Smith won't manage to read this book for sure. The font is way too small. She will need a magnifying glass taking into account her bad eyesight or a zoom option in her phone. If Miss Smith wants a real zoom option, here you are. We increase the photo and the phone. Attach a printed out phone screen picture to a big piece of foam plastic. Round the corners, snipping off the excess. Cut out a base for the back of the phone from thick paper or cardboard. Attach the screen and the base using double-sided tape. Now let's prepare a school board coating. Take plaster. Put in black and white acrylic paint and add some water. Mix everything thoroughly and cover the back of the phone with the mixture. Cut out paper side strips. Spray paint them silver and attach to the sides with white construction glue. Miss Smith can't figure out what to do with this huge phone. Call her friends? She turns it over. Wow, I can write on the back of the giant phone like on a school board. Now it's crystal clear that this smartphone belongs to a teacher. The girls get carried away with magic so much that a real fight for the magic wand begins. Miss Smith feels all the spells by herself. Her images keep changing like in a kaleidoscope. At last, she loses her temper and writes a stop word on her phone school board. Stop it, girls. Stop it right now. The girls give the magic wand back and Miss Smith takes back her honored teacher image. We take out a laptop while Miss Smith doesn't see. The new episode of our favorite TV series, Tortures and Horrors in High School Season 5, is just out. I wonder whether they managed to save the principal. But we won't find it out, because Miss Smith is already here. Apparently, she loves this TV series, too. Otherwise, why does she take away our laptop and mouse, replacing them with their smaller versions instead? Paint an empty makeup box with acrylic paint. 
Attach a printed out mini keyboard inside. Paint a logo on the lid. Cover the tiny laptop with clear lacquer when it is ready. Where is my laptop? I see only my reflection instead of my favorite TV series. Something has certainly gone wrong. And is that a teeny mouse? I can hardly hold it in my hands. Shape air dry clay into a mini mouse. Score buttons with a knife. Cut a thin ring off a cocktail straw. Cut it in half and insert it into the mouse imitating a scroll wheel. Cover the mouse with acrylic paint and add a layer of clear nail polish on top. Cut a mouse pad out of thick colored paper. These mini gadgets seem to be straight out of the Tortures and Horrors in High School series. We are fed up with listening to boring lectures. We'd better listen to music. Miss Smith is doing her favorite thing. She's scrutinizing the globe, but once she sees our headphones, she uses her magic wand and our headphones turn into nose phones. Cut off a protecting plastic cap ring and take it away. Make the cut bigger. Fill holes in two identical buttons with white glue. And hot glue the buttons to the cut ring to get mini headphones. Make them more voluminous with hot glue. And sprinkle the entire surface with glitter. What kind of strange device is that? We look like aliens with those nose phones. We can listen to music with a regular Bluetooth speaker while the teacher is away. We turn on the music and dance while sitting on our chairs. But Miss Smith is already here. She's a professional buzzkill. And our Bluetooth speaker becomes way smaller than it used to be. Wrap an empty bobbin with foam rubber sheet. Fill the holes with hot glue. Attach pink tool on top of the foam rubber. Cut a control panel detail out of an orange foam rubber sheet. Attach it using multi-purpose glue, covering the end holes. Cut out another smaller control panel detail and attach it as a second layer to add some volume. Attach additional details. Draw the buttons on the control panel. This Bluetooth speaker is so small that you can't hear anything. It might be great for a bug party. Miss Smith conjures a big Bluetooth speaker for herself and it turns on at full power. Paint a plastic bread box. Attach tool to it. Add bright foam rubber details. Heat it up with a hair dryer so that the foam rubber gets the shape of the bread box. Attach foam rubber buttons. Oh my! We should shut our ears not to hear the loud sounds. It's strange, but there is no music coming out of the speaker. The only thing we can hear is Miss Smith munching. She's taken her sandwich out of the bread box and enjoys her music lunch. The girls have gotten tired with all these teaching tricks and fell asleep. Miss Smith still cares about her students. She lets them rest on huge and soft headphones. Paint two paper plates silver. Cut two circles out of a foam rubber sheet. Attach them to the plates using double-sided tape. Write Troom Troom. Put polyester fiber filling onto the plates and cover them with fabric. Hot glue. Cut out a wide ring from polyester fiber filling. Make a fabric ring to fit the cardboard size. Make cuts along the fabric edge. Put a few polyester rings one onto another. Press them down with the cardboard ring. 
pull the fabric and hot glue it to the cardboard. Attach the soft ring to the plate pillow. Make two of the same maxi headphones. Wrap pipe insulation with fabric and sew it down. Insert a wire frame inside. Attach the headphones and hot glue. Sleep tight and sweet dreams. And if I turn on a lullaby, you will sleep peacefully and deep. Did you like our gadget ideas? Then write in your comments what size of the gadgets you liked the most, mini versions or giant ones. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new school pranks on the Troom Troom channel.